Okay, so I am grabbing my perks. Tomato, spinach, mozzarella, panini from Starbucks, y'all. This is going to be so delicious. This is a birthday perk. So if you sign up and get your app, put in your birthday and you can collect your free perk on your birthday. Baby, I left the place and I had a wonderful time. However, we are sitting off the... Oh my God, I don't even know. The tunnel, just got out of the tunnel and it's gridlock. I'm literally like 10 minutes away from my sister's house to pick up my kids and it's saying it's going to take me an extra 30 minutes. I don't know what happened, who did what on the highway, but I'm trying to get to my sister's house because it's going to take me an extra hour to get home. Oh my God. I wanted to get home by a certain time. I really wanted to get home. Y'all, it's... Oh, you know what? <sighs> I'm so vexed right now. I don't even know what to do. I'm so mad. Because it's like... Oh my God. Look, look, oh, Y'all. It's, 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 it's giving... Um, wow. Um, it's it's 12.49 a.m. It's going to take me 30 minutes to get to my sister's house. And I live an hour away from my sister's house. I can't believe this is happening. I don't even know what to do. Like, um, I'm glad whatever happened, it wasn't me. If it was something really bad, I don't, I pray for those who was involved. But, come on, like for real. We, we is just sitting here. Just sitting. My windows is getting foggy. We are literally, I've never, we just sitting here. Oh my God. This is terrible. Like, I don't even know if I can even get off. Y'all, I went out last night with my friend. I didn't get home until like 2.30 in the morning. Like, oh. <laughs> no, nah, but I had a good time. I had a good time. I had a good time. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I got for my birthday. I take my braids out, as y'all already can see. Y'all, them braids did not take that long to take out. I had them braids in for two months, and it was time. It was time to take them out. 
Y'all already saw my little vacuum cleaner that I got from my sister. She was like, why did you put that on your birthday list? And I was like, honestly, I put it on because it, it was something I wanted, something I needed. I have another vacuum cleaner. And to me, it's like a toy. It don't pick up nothing. And then I have a rainbow. But I got to figure out why my rainbow is not suctioning properly. So, yeah. So, I'm going to just show y'all a couple of things. Now, these are items that I put on my wish list and my sisters what we do is every time somebody birthday comes around we ask them for their wish list and then they send it like my dad took me out my friend took me out like it was an amazing birthday week i did take time off for myself so happy i did that um i took time off i took time off and it was great it was amazing um i gotta renew my lease today i was gonna move again <laughs> I, I just got here like I, I literally just moved in here six months ago but I said you know what <laughs> I'm going to um you know if people get a bad rap for moving around a lot they do and I don't I don't know like my parents kept us in the same house my childhood house for for years and literally I never moved around my parents they they kept us stable but I don't know I it's never wherever you move it's never going to be a hundred percent what you like even if you're a homeowner but i feel like you know i'm moving around i've always moved around since i've returned since i turned 18 i don't know why it's just something that i always did the only thing is my concern is i don't want my kids to feel pressured to always feel like they have to move so yeah i still have to get my kids in a few minutes because they're not here with me right now i have some time to myself or whatever but yeah so before i leave i'm going to show y'all a few things that i got that i asked for for my birthday so um that's my alarm telling me to go i got like 10 minutes so i think i showed y'all this already in another clip or whatever so but i'm gonna show y'all again because i like this first and it's good and it's spacious and then i also asked for an emotional self-care for black women book and um i am so excited to read this book so i think we're gonna talk about this book i really am going to talk about this now i know a lot of my followers and subscribers are not african-american and that's okay because this is going to be a sharing moment for all of us so more to come with that um oh y'all hair is in my eye i did ask for some um rose gold spoons so there with that yeah yeah i like these spoons they're so nice and cute can't wait to use them i love um making my little drinks and stuff so i can't wait to use these and then i got some reading glasses so yeah now i'm gonna show y'all now i, I wear y'all i've been wearing glasses since i was six y'all will never see me wearing regular glasses because I'm not, we're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing it. So this came in a pair of five, five pairs. And literally, um, I sit, I work on my laptop a lot for work. So I haven't worn glasses in forever, but yeah, we're just gonna, I was looking for the big ones, but I'm just like, I don't know, like my nose be hurting and stuff like that. So, um, I'm gonna try these out and these are the pink ones so they may be a little bit too maybe too small for my face because i my cheekbones are hanging out but i have a eye exam coming up in a couple got a cup a cup actually this week so i found a really great optometrist and literally um he's like the bomb.com so we're actually going to go back to summer in the park i i love the, ooh, these is cute too y'all like i wanted the big nerdy glasses but it would be just for reading so i like these are cute i like the other ones too so like that and then y'all it's not i think well these are supposed to like help me like because I, I look at the laptop a lot so the doctor has told me that i kind of really started back needing to wear my glasses during the daytime and i'm like sir 
I'm not about to be burning ants. Like we're not doing, we're not burning ants. We're not burning ants. I, I don't, I don't want to burn ants. I, I cannot. Mm -mm. While also my others, my sisters had got me this, um, easel board. Cause I wanted to, not, not a easel. It's like a, a board, um, that I can put my, um, I'm going to start back painting. I'm doing a lot of therapeutic stuff this year because I really, really need it. I owe it to myself to be therapeutic because <laughs> the way life been life right now, and I'm trying to just mentally stay sane, I don't know. So I really, really love these as well, too. I'm just super excited, y'all, because I don't know. I've never really embraced the idea of glasses because my prescription has just not been, and my prescription is not the greatest, but it's okay. I can still see. I just, I cannot... I can't, um, without context, I cannot read, um, I can't, I can't, it's just, it's too much, like, like, I really have my phone like this, like, y'all see that? Yeah, like that, so, and then these are, like, was that five here? Yeah, this was the last one, so, I love all of them, I have, I love that I have great options for this, so, what also I like is that my sisters had gave me, they left, like, cute little, <laughs> cute little notes and stuff like that, so, um i'm just happy for that so yeah i showed y'all my vacuum cleaner and y'all i tried the vacuum cleaner that vacuum cleaner worked because i had another dirt devil before like maybe like seven eight years ago it was cool but then it kind of like died or whatever but i don't know i think i ended up giving it away because it was it wasn't put it wasn't the one so then it comes like a little cloth in the bag so i will have to get a case i also asked for a throw for my couch um so this is like what i wanted i'm gonna get some pillows and stuff like that but the way that my child my son my 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 little baby he not a baby no more y'all he five the way that he be doing stuff he be upsetting me because he be <laughs> he be throwing my pillows down jumping off the stuff and i be thinking like oh my god like you're doing too much then i asked for this um this knife now this is a um like a crinkly thing so i can cut like fruit and stuff with it so it's not sharp so the kids can use it too of course with supervision so that's what i got there um yeah this birthday was amazing it was amazing um i stayed out my friend well, my friend um I had reached out to her. I didn't reach out to really nobody. I wanted to go out, but I knew I wasn't going to stay out for long. So I called my friend, like, hey, girl, I was just like, I'm going to come out that way. I went, to, I went back to the bay, and I was like, um, do you want to go out? And I haven't seen her. The same one y'all seen me with last year when we went to the, we went to go to the VR. I was like, do you want to go out for my birthday? She's like, yeah. So we went out to a restaurant. We ate. We only ate appetizers. I guess I wasn't really that hungry initially. And then um, I wasn't really hungry because I kind of like, you know, been just like chilling and vibing or whatever the whole day. So my sister, she was like, I'm all over the place, y'all. She was like, uh, do you want to watch your kids so you can go out? It was like a one night only. One night only, one night only. Come on, come watch the kids. I hope y'all can hear me above this fan because the fan is fanning right now. Y'all, this is the same fan I used when I went camping. <sighs> this was a great investment because this fan does not have to stay plugged in while it's working. Let me turn off the mic to show y'all. I showed y'all for those ones who did not see the uh, the the camping hall. This fan. And you can charge whatever you want on it. I took this camp in and it really made a difference. I turned this fan on at, um, at night too. Oh, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. Turn that fan on at night too when I need to. Um, so I don't have to be running up my electricity bill. Y'all, I don't know what happened. And I still need to call these people. So a week ago, no, two weeks ago, I get it. I'm thinking it's a bill from the from the utility people. I open it and it says no bills due at this time. And I'm just like, why? Why did you send this to me? <laughs> why did you waste a stamp? Why did you send this to me in paper? So then I'm like, okay, well, that's weird. So I didn't think much of it. I didn't check it. So then I went online literally last week because I knew that the bill was due, right? This is my due date. I get on there and there's a credit. And I'm like, 
I don't know. So I need I need to call them to figure out what's what's going on because I don't know. Whatever. But um this is not birthday related. Sorry for the but I wanted to show y'all. There is this um lady at my church. She's so sweet. Well, actually she the the past the pastor is two pastors, a pastor. One of the pastors moved out of state, but he comes back and forth. And his wife, she was um she was going through a hell, a battle with cancer, and she's so sweet. I really, really, I love everybody at my church. Everybody is so amazing. Everybody is so sweet and kind, and they're, they are one of the main reasons why I moved back to California, because I could not get with no other church. I tried it. I tried it. I've been going to this church. Why? Initially, I went to church like 12 years ago, and then I moved, and then when I came back, I was pregnant with Raya. I ended up joining. Yeah. But then when I was in Texas, I ended up, uh, when I was in Texas, I ended up um, still going virtually course when I was there during the pandemic and stuff like that, too. So um, when she came back, because I hadn't seen her for like, I think like seven, maybe nine months. And when I hugged her, I was so happy to see her. I was so happy that she was, you know, well, um, she, she's had, had, um, episodes i don't like to call them episodes she's had to go through the process of uh, cancer as well before and she said that she's cancer free i'm so happy so excited for her um she did gift um us at church with these keychains pretty much encouraging us to take time out for ourselves telling us that we are enough and this does this keychain this it says thank you it's really cute it also says sometimes you forget you're awesome so this is your reminder i hope y'all can see it but that's where it's at but yeah so excuse my nails y'all i did not go get my nails done i gotta go get my kids I, I didn't go get my nails done this time for my birthday i wanted to i just didn't have time but anyways but i'm gonna be putting this on my keychain i just y'all i need to take some of this stuff off my daddy always told me to never have too much stuff on your keychain. So I'm a, I don't I actually just have my work keys, my car keys, and my house keys and my car keys. I don't have nothing else on there. Um and like this little rope thing right here, but I don't have nothing else really on my mm -mm, I don't do all like I like the stuff, but I don't want that stuff dangling. So I'm about to go get my kids and I'll be back. I'm on high energy level right now, which is great. Um I just listen to some music and stuff. <sighs> I've been doing a lot of decompressing. Do I feel better 100%? No, I'm being honest. This is my, my pulse, my temperature. But I've been really trying to be intentional on my moods. Like, just making sure that I'm good and stuff like that. But I'm human. So, um, yeah. I'll see y'all back in a little bit. I got to look at this kid, y'all. Because Raya, she be, she be knowing. Hezekiah be knowing, too. They be having their shoes ready to go. So, let me go get my babies. Okay? All right.